So here's a P PDF file we'd like to get out, send out to you. So we, I know you've all enrolled, so I can just email this to you all after this session's over. So okay. this is a bit about Teams now, where it's from and how it all works. So how to use Microsoft Teams. Um, your class is now online. The things you can do, learn from home, get your resources, attend through video, communicate with your teacher like you're doing with me and chat with other students, give homework and get feedback. And you need the following technology to do it, to do a connection. It also should include the word Mac there as well, I think. Yeah. And there's a little video here you could watch too um, in your own time to show you a bit more about just the Teams interface and just it's a nice sort of like video. It shows you around Teams. Uh, and it's quite, quite fun to watch. It's about two or three minutes. Um, how you sign into Teams just shows you your, your format for entry. The screen looks like this when you sign in. And it mentions your student ID, which I've talked about already. That's how it looks. You can download Teams on any device. Now, where you get Teams from, there's a little link in there. OK, but I'll also show you where this link is available to you. Um, it's again also available on the same page I showed you earlier with your email. All the links are there in one place. You also can just Google download Microsoft Teams. Easy way of doing it. Just Google download Microsoft Teams and you'll get this. You come to a page that looks like this. Let's do mm. it together. Let's do it together. Download Microsoft Teams. It's the easy way of doing it, isn't it? And here it comes. Here's my link right there. First one. <clears throat> the page looks like this. And I can download to desktop or mobile, which also means that there's also a mobile app for it too. And there's no harm mm. in having it in a couple of places like a PC and a, a mobile app. Because sometimes people I've, I've heard are doing classes, they're sitting in a lesson, and we don't even know this, but they're literally they're on a mobile, you know, and they're participating and they're talking and so on. They're just out and about, you know, on their walk or something. Some can classes. You on, you do it on mobile, iPad, and yeah, Mac. Mobile. mobile phone, um, tablet, and desktop device. All three. All three, yeah. It's available on all of them now. Yeah. And uh, mobile apps really nice because it's got the chat feature built in. You can still you can see classes, you can see your calendar, you can chat to your teacher. It's been used quite a lot in some class environments, and we're encouraging you get both really a mobile version of it. Yeah, and version. Mm -hmm. Stay connected. Uh, a stupid do... question. Yes, go ahead. Um, a laptop is that a desktop? Yes, yeah, same thing. You're right, you're okay. right. Well, technically no, but it's, if you've got a good point there. <laughs> um, Nowadays, those things are becoming much more interchangeable. Uh, desktop is a fixed machine, a fixed workstation. Ah. Laptop is your portable PC, but they're both equally good at performance. Okay. So, um, um, yeah. Yeah, no worries. No problem. I download via the uh, PC. Yes, that'd be better for you. Yeah. And down below here, you've got the, this is how it looks on an iPhone. This is the icon for Teams when you downloaded it. It looks like this. When you find it, here's the app. There it is there. Okay. Now, further down, um, just shows you how the screens look when you sign in, another sort of way, a variant of it. Sometimes it looks like this, sometimes it looks like that. That's a mobile sign in. Now, how you join an on online class, I showed you earlier on the icons on the left hand side. Once you've downloaded Teams, you go to your mm -hmm. calendar, calendar, find the meeting, and click on join. Yeah. Or you get a notification on your college email, which looks like this, looks a bit like that this join Microsoft Teams meeting, this blue text in bold. You're clicking on that link and that takes you into your class. Now into a lesson and something to think about with online classes. Um, I've shown you the icons already about the interface. You've got the microphone there. You've got the chat feature there. You've got participants there. Yeah, something to think about is when you enter into a meeting, it says arrive early. So I really recommend that always for classes that are online. Give yourself five, 10 minutes to get in and get sorted out. Make sure your camera is on if you have one, but it's not essential. Keep your mic on mute when you're not speaking. I don't mind because everyone's managing the sound very well today. I've had no problems. Um, it's all going very well, but sometimes sometimes sounds are generated by the machine or background noise. Someone walks past. I might get yelled at in a minute, you know, at home. So sometimes you might need to cover your mic. So just hit mute and unmute whenever you feel ready. Uh, have a quiet environment, so you know keep your environment quiet around you because it becomes very distracting to get noise when you're trying to focus on the screen. Um, have all your learning equipment with you so you're ready to learn. So if you've got resources and books, or if you're working with visual arts or music or classes where you need resources, have them near nearby so you're ready to go. And we encourage you to use chat to ask your teacher any questions, or when your teacher asks you a question, you know, do use chat if you're not using microphone. It all depends on the dynamics of your class. 
Um, assignments don't really apply in this case. This is more for qualification courses. I'm not sure. Is anyone here doing a qualification course? Excel. I'm doing an exam. And which course is that? Um, functional level two maths. Oh, so you're going to be doing a test. Doing okay. entry science. Uh, okay, so you've got an exam. Have you got any coursework to, to submit, though? Um, not, yeah. I have coursework, but it was all sent to me. I see. So coursework might be, I mean, they might ask you to send it by email. They might ask you to submit it yeah. to Teams. Or they might say to you put it on something called Moodle, which I'll show in a minute. So you just be aware of those three different platforms we have for work. And your teacher will, will show you how it's done anyway. You'll get demonstrated that. Yeah. OK. So that's the um, bit of basic stuff about Teams now. Let me show you, take you back to the college website and bring that up again. So this page I showed you earlier, which I accessed from, can you see my screen, folks? Let's bring it up. Can you see the college website coming up now? Not yet. Should be there in about yeah. five or 10 seconds. Yeah. yeah. Right, we're back here again. So come down back here again. And the free classes get set up online are here. Let's go into that link. And down below, you've got the college email I talked about earlier. Um, I mentioned mm -hmm. Teams and where you can get Teams from. There's a link to Teams right there. OK, if you get stuck and want help and you're having problems, there's also a support, a support link here for IT support. So that's what you'd use if you've got problems. OK, so any kind of technical issues that occur after this, you'd use that there, student support form. You click on it takes you to a form like this. You can give feedback, get help, and say what the problem oh, is. Right, okay. 